tip or two on drenching. Whether you're going to have to give your horse an anti-inflammatory, an antibiotic, uh, uh, minerals, or the dreaded worm drench, at some point we're going to have to give them an oral drench. So we want to prepare for that fact. And a few little things we look for before we get to doing the, the thing we ultimately have to do is I want to make sure I can even handle my horse everywhere and he hasn't got any worries about me putting my hands around him, around his face, that type of thing. Get all that sort of working for us first before we start trying to bring in a, a foreign object. Just make sure he's okay with lowering his head, uh, maybe just moving his head backwards a little bit there. Get some other yields going here. If he's happy to take himself away from me. I want to get him in a safe line where he's yielding away from me. If he's yielding away from me, I'm less likely to have him throw his head into me. So just from a safety point of view, get back away from me. I'm going to be really mindful of my space. And my old horse, Oscar, is one of our less willing uh, horses when it comes to being drenched. So we set up a little program where we drench them. And we don't kind of let him know what it's going to be. But I'll bring it over here. And if he throws his head in the air, he's going to have to bring that down again. And that just comes into the corner there. And today, is lucky day just like yesterday it's some apple sauce a little bit of molasses on the tip just to disguise what's in it uh, disguise the smell a little bit so we use that also when we get the the real deal going but pretty soon we're going to have to do the real deal so today is the day for drenching all our horses drench time A bad apple day, but tomorrow will be a better apple day. And we'll do a little bit maybe the day after. <laughs> and leave them with a pleasant experience. So I'm just trying to sweeten the deal here a little bit as well.